This is a public announcement to all on the Spot News media viewers and subscribers. And for even those who just browse through my page every now and again when something grabs your eyes. No, on the Spot News media is not on TikTok. As you can see, this is a TikTok page. Someone stole my logo, stole my name and created a TikTok page and also using videos belonging to Underspot News Media. Someone sent this to me last night, stating that I'm preaching a certain type of thing, but yet they see me on a certain person's live. So I was like, that is not Underspot News Media. And they screenshot that and sent it to me. So I'm just stating this to make it clear. Underspot News Media is not on TikTok. So those who have followed that page thinking it was on the Spot News Media, it's not. Please go over and unfollow. And also this other page presently on your screen. This is a YouTube page that goes by the name of The Spot Media who copies the work of On The Spot News Media and also the work of My View TV and uploads it to this YouTube channel. So I am making it categorically clear on the spot news media is not on TikTok. So please go over and on follow. Whilst I've seen many of my videos on TikTok, but that person just uses my video on their TikTok page. They have not stolen my logo nor anything. In fact, they block out my logo when they're using my video. And I really don't have a problem with that. But when you're going to clone my entire channel and put it on TikTok, no, I'm not in support of that. So if there's anything that you all can do to have this channel on TikTok reported, please go ahead and do so. On the Spot News Media is not on TikTok. Yeah, man. On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right. Y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what uh, go on? A blessed and wonderful Saturday morning to each and every person out there tuning into on the spot news media. Now, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So to all of the ones and ones in the morning are traversing the church, happy Sabbath and I don't know how the things set over on this side. See if travel, pan the gravel. Please remember on the spot news media as loyal viewers and subscribers in your immediate prayers because we definitely see how Jamaica run right now so we definitely need that now more than ever. And to all of the ones and ones them traversing the streets go and stay safe continue to look out on the corner here because what the old dirty corner boy them always out there alerts <laughs> yeah man may i tell you so in the morning i'm a peep so we are gonna feature one of mobile's most notorious set of gangsters a set of criminal elements we around a one part in a St. James there. Me I tell you no say. When time I say we around a one part, me I talk about we around a one part. Usually them type of place there usually be a quiet farming community back in the days. But right now criminal elements a rant and range and a reign supreme in those rural areas. We are talking about a gang with them called the More Than Nine Gang. Yeah, man. I briefly spoke about this gang a little bit over two months ago in this blog. So you can go back and watch the blog here and play catch up so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation about what I are talking about. So this gang here has been raking havoc in the general Roper, Flamstead, Maroon Town area. Hence the reason why I say we are on a one part, round this all. Now, this gang has claimed the life of over half a dozen persons, to be exact. But three in particular, we definitely sure without a shadow of a doubt, say I them do the dirt 
upon them man there. Now the first man that we are going to feature is a brother with them call Richard Plummer whose life was taken sometime in February of this year. However, the perpetrators of that crime was caught. We are talking about this criminal element here, the reputed gang leader for the more than nine gang with them call Shemar Hines. Now Shemar Hines is presently on your screen. Now Shemar Hines and him right hand, a brother with them call Hedo, presently on your screen right now. So Shemar Hines and Hedo was taken off the streets some time ago for the loss of life of Richard Plummer. Shortly after, they both got bail and decided that they were hell-bent on taking out anybody who claimed or who has stated to be a witness in that loss of life. Now another man end up losing three pints. A man that goes by the name of Ryan. Many people know him in the streets as Thunder. Now Thunder life was taken by a member of the More Than Nine gang. But the thing about his loss of life, his life was taken by his own family member. I went to miss his own family member. We not talk about no far-fetched family member neither. We not talk about no third, fourth or no fifth cousin type of family member. We are talking about a family member who is his own blood brother. Yeah man, may I tell you. May I talk about this criminal element here presently on your screen. A man known as Foster. Now these criminal elements continue for rant and rage and continue to create havoc in the lives of the regular members of Chan Public over there in Ropa and the general Flamstead Maroon Town area. Now these men are definitely no stranger to the police and these men continue to roam free. However, another loss of life was committed in that area. We are talking about the loss of life of this young man presently on your screen that goes by the name of Garrett Leslie. Now, Garrett Leslie's life was taken in a very, what I would call a controversial circumstance as he was set up by a young lady in that area. Her boyfriend at the time is definitely a reputed member of the more than nine gang who used her to lure this young man presently on your screen in their clutches and his life was taken. No, the loss of lives did not stop there as this more than nine gang continue to wreak havoc in the Flamstead area. They took the life of a farmer I'm speaking about this man presently on your screen, a man that goes by the name of Ian Bell. Ian Bell is a known farmer in the community. We plant him pine, him like a ginger farm, and he also rears cattle. We are talking about cows and goats. This man's life was, however, taken by members of the More Than Nine gang. Now on your screen, is the dynamic door. The two main knackis and clappies in the gang, known as Hedo and Foster. Police, however, caught up with them and they are presently behind bars. But other members are out there who continues to intimidate, who continues to loot, who continues to plunder, who continues to wreak havoc in the general Flamstead area. Now on your screen again for you is the reputed gang leader for the gang, Shemar Hines. Now my peeps, from time to time Shemar Hines may change his appearance. Now this is a more updated photograph of what Shemar Hines may look like. He continues to use other criminal operatives to wreak havoc in that area. He's also harboring wanted men from the Clarendon Police Division, who answers to this man 
one of Shemar Hines's criminal operatives from the More Than Nine gang. This man is known as Lico Maxwell. He is also responsible for a number of knockings and clappings in the general Flamstead area. Now this man on your screen is another reputed gang member for the More Than Nine gang known as Clap Up. <laughs> yeah man may I tell you. Now this young man in recent times has been using unsuspecting females in that general era to lure unsuspecting men in the era to have them either robbed or their lives taken. So I'm saying this as a warning to the general public to be he aware of your surroundings and who you go check Rona Flamstead because you very well may go around there in high spirits and come back out in a body bag. <laughs> yeah man may I tell you. Now this man on your screen many will deny the fact that he has any involvement. Many will say on the spot news media no an innocent you that but this brother here presently on your screen known as Desi is a man where a lot to strap them for Edo. One thing for sure that none can deny that this man and the criminal element that goes by the name of Edo are indeed close, close friends. So whether you don't want to believe it or not, Desi is a part of the criminal syndicate. He may not squeeze it, he may not knock it and clap it, but guess what Desi do for them? He may lock it, he a man. So the next two criminal elements that more of a feature is on your screen presently. Now the one especially in the left in the full white is known as Lay. The man in the pink is known as Watermouth. Now them two man there go knock it and clap it in the name of Hedo up a Pimento Hill on a grisly Sunday evening. Who remember that series of knockings and clappings there? I want to speak up, you know. I want to speak out against these criminal elements plaguing on the communities. Yeah, man. I want to reach out to the police, reach out to the authorities and make them know exactly where I'm going. I reach out to On The Spot News Media at On The Spot News Media 876 on Instagram or On The Spot News Media at gmail.com. I don't want to know afraid how many more of our citizens, how many more of our relatives who have to go see, go down before we do something about it. One thing my granny always say, you, know, you need to do something before something do you. Yeah, man, may I tell you. And when you see communities like that of Flamstead reach to them levels, yeah, you know, no, say, definitely that is something to worry about. Now to the artist who is definitely not among the smartest with them call Javais, yeah man, you may I talk to. You need to stop support these criminal elements. If you are the music, do music and leave criminality alone. Me don't know why some of the artists feel like they wanna have to be aligned to a criminal organization for the bus. Is either you're a criminal or you're an artist, you need to pick a side and stay upon it. And the youth of them call Adrian, instead of you use your money to uplift your community, you use it for supply, guns and ammunition to Tangle River and Flamstead. We know all the way you are going with the youth, but some of the time you have to give them the warning before them get the can in. And this is not on the spot news media giving you a threat. Because on the spot news media is the least of your worries. Remember say, all of the criminal elements who want support have gone at themselves enemies. And they too know that you are backing them financially. And this may have a negative ripple effect on you and your family members. So be careful of what you're doing. Stop breaking apart the communities that you born and grew up and come see. The reason why you could have it if you deal with it this way is because others before you preserved it. Don't destroy it. Be a helping hand in your community and not a hand of destruction. The man always saying to my peeps, a word to the wise is always sufficient. 
But anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscast. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.